Alright, today we're going to start a new project in the fish room. I'm actually going to be breaking this entire tank down, scrubbing everything down, cleaning the gravel, and then putting it all back in. Um, some of you guys might remember when I set this tank up, I did do a dirted bottom. And it's actually just became a nightmare for me. Over the time, it's just, I really regret doing it. And not so much, you know, the plant growth or anything like that. It's been great. And it would have worked, but I have a few fish in here that like to dig. And over time, they've just dug, you know, everything up. I really don't have any dirt at the bottom anymore. It's all on the surface and all over everything, as you can see. You can see it all. It just builds up onto everything. So... You know, the only way I can really logically think to just get rid of it is to take it all out. Everything, clean everything, and then put the gravel back and replant everything. Um, I do have a DIY trick that I use for root tabs. So as far as any of the plants that need nutrients, you know, from the soil or, or from the substrate, I can use those. Uh, I will be replacing the light. We'll talk about the lighting, um, you know, later on in the video when I do get the lights. So this is going to take me probably, you know, a good two days. And I'm just going to keep you guys updated as we go along. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take all the fish out. Well, as much fish as I can find. I'm going to take all those out, take some of the, the wood out, take the rocks out. I do have another tank set up right around the corner here that's been running for some time. It was my Jaguar tank. Uh, I actually took the Jaguar out this morning, put him in the 125. He's doing fine. So, or she, I'm sorry, she's doing fine. Uh, so, all I gotta do is take these fish from here, take them, you know, right around the corner, drop them in the new tank. Uh, the temperatures are around the same. I think this one runs about 78, and that one's about the same, 78 to 80. I'll have to double check that to make sure I'm not dropping them in anything crazy. But what I'll do is I'll get the temperatures the same and just drop, take them from this tank, put them in that one, take all the rocks out, clean them, get all the gravel out. You know, I'll have to clean the tank really well and then set it all back up. Um, as far as my filtration goes and killing my you know, beneficial bacteria, uh, I'll show you guys when we get to that part, but I do actually have some extra bacteria or extra um, ceramic media that's cycled, so I can always just drop that in the filter when I do uh, put the tank back together, so we don't have to worry about that. But all right, guys, stick with me, and we are going to start breaking this tank down. Alright guys, here's a little update. I just got done cleaning the last bucket of dirt out of here. Um, it was kind of a nightmare. I didn't end up cleaning the gravel. I ended up buying new gravel. Uh, it was too much to wash that old gravel with all that dirt in there. So I have a little bit of gravel to go clean. I have all these rocks to clean. I did get new lighting for this tank. So we're going to be checking that out here in a minute. So let me get um, cleaning some gravel. We're going to get gravel in here. I did lower this water down. I'll probably have to lower it down a little bit more. We'll get gravel in here and clean these rocks up and get the rocks back in there. And we'll start planting everything and eventually putting the fish back. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. So um, here is the final product. I got everything cleaned, everything back in here. And I'm going to be putting fish in here soon. Um... I kind of messed up. I soaked these plants in peroxide. Um, I really didn't put a specific amount in there. I just kind of dumped a bunch in there because, you know, there wasn't any fish. I figured, oh, I'll just hit it hard. Well, it ruined uh, quite a bit of my plants. It just killed them. Um, they were out of the... They sit, I mean, they were only in there for maybe, I don't know, an hour. I might have let them soak in that. But you can see, like, that piece of water sprite. Some of you guys remember I had that, you know, I had quite a few large pieces of water sprite. And it's just, it's so wilted. Like over here, um, that's water wisteria. 
I just stuck it in here hoping maybe it will come back. I really doubt it. I'll probably end up just taking it back out. Um, uh, you know, some of my Anubias survived. Uh, it seems to be more of a hardy plant. Uh, some of that survived, and then uh, quite a bit of the Java moss, or I'm sorry, Java fern survived. So, I am going to be picking up some new plants today. So, I will just wait to do this video, and then I'll put those in there. I'll show you guys what it looks like then. Um, I did do, I did change the lighting. I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, I was using CFL bulbs, and they were 6,500K CFL bulbs, and I was using like I don't know four or five of them, and they work great. But the problem is, is they just don't last as long. Um, I did upgrade to a four foot. It's a two bulb fluorescent um, T8. 6500k bulb and it just overall looks better uh, with the CFL bulbs you get more of like a spotlight look like you're almost like you're shining a um, flashlight into the tank and I really didn't care for that. that's why I had so many so you couldn't really tell um, but it looked bad so like now I'll go ahead and show you guys I just have this fixture which is four foot and it's a double um, fluorescent tube and then I also have a single fixture back here which is the same thing. And I could actually, I'll show you guys how bright this is just single tube, the double tube that I bought yesterday. I mean, that's a lot brighter. Right there, that would probably do it for me. But I like having the light in the back as well um, to help those background plants out. I do have some um, Amazon sword that I cut down in my old tank and it's starting to grow back. So. I'm going to leave those in there and let them do what they, you know, see if they'll come back, do what they do. So, I did install timers on all my tanks yesterday. Went and got new timers, they were on sale, so I was like, might as well just buy, you know, one for every tank. Don't have to mess with it. But I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It looks a lot cleaner. I mean, it was just, you know, so stressful messing with the tank, it's just impossible to keep clean so now I'm real happy got all the wood cleaned up so yeah definitely guys let me know what you think I like it um, I'm, I'm anxious to throw my fish back in here they're still over here on the 30 doing good um, they've been in there now for about um, maybe 40 hours I've, I've really really like done this fast I did this real fast just Took everything out, cleaned it down. I cleaned the entire tank, cleaned the entire filters. Started just fresh, brand new. You know, just a fresh tank. Um, I do have my power head back here with my DIY filter buried. That's not really buried. That piece of slate's just sitting over top of the bottle. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that. Yeah, so we got the bottle back here. Um, that piece of slate just sits over top of it. So if I do need to, like when I need to change my filter floss, I just pull that piece off, pop the bottom of the, the bottle off. Um, I also built this big rock pile here. Um, there's a lot of caves in there, a lot of little holes, you know, places for the fish to go. A lot of my fish, they like to hide and, you know, hide, find the little caves and stuff. Um, so that will, you know, help them out. But yeah, I'm real happy, guys. Definitely real happy. Like the way it looks. So I am getting ready to run up about a half hour away and pick some new plants up and we'll take a look at that and we'll wrap this video up so hang tight and I'll be back in a few right, guys so here we go this is the final product all my fish are back in here I did go grab some new plants unfortunately I lost most of all my old plants I ended up tossing the ones that weren't looking too good I'm hoping that um, the Amazon sword right there in the middle comes back a little bit I'm going to give it a few days. If not, I'll have to pitch it too. Um, I did do root tabs in this tank yesterday, so now all we got to wait for is everything to start growing in. Um, I didn't lose any fish during this whole process, so that's a good thing. Everybody's alive and well. Um, I ended up adding the old the cycled media and the filter, and I've checked, I've checked this water probably, I don't know, 10 times since these fish been back in here just to see you know make sure all the levels are okay I def definitely didn't want an ammonia spike and kill all my fish 
I did leave the platies out of this tank. I left them in a 30 gallon. The platies in the two minute minnows live in the 30 now. Uh, reason for that is I just didn't want them eating my plants. Them platies, they'll destroy plants. I, you know, they're just they're machines. So, hope you guys like it. Go down in the comments. Let me know what you think. I definitely like it. It's a lot cleaner. Like I said, I got some plant issues. Um, I'll probably have to wait till spring to order more. Most of the plants I had, I ordered online. Uh, there is a place I can go buy plants here in Columbus, but it's about an hour drive, and their selection is just not all that great. Uh, I want a Tiger Lotus. They don't sell Tiger Lotus. I have to order that. Unfortunately, most times you buy it, you, it comes in a bulb. Uh, that's the last one. The one I had was a bulb, and it did great until I fried it with peroxide. But it had they had algae all over them, and I didn't want to put algae back in the tank. You can actually see on that piece of Nubius right there. There's algae on it, but it's dead. It's like white fuzz. So hopefully all that bounces back. I'd like that Anubius to grow in real good on that rock pile. Um, I'd like to get some more water spray for this tank. Like I said, I fried all mine. I had, I had quite a bit of it. I just didn't make it. So it is what it is. But yeah, guys, um, let me know what you think in the comments. Share this. Subscribe. And I will see you guys later.